Hello everyone, I'm Alexander and I wanted to show you the latest game that I've been working on. Uh, this game is called Ninja Escape and will be available for Windows operating systems and for uh, you to play online. Now before I start showing off the game, um, not everything was done by me, so I have to add the credits to uh, two other people. Actually, the programming was done by me, the art assets were made by Patrick, and the music was done by Dan Knight. So, before I start, I will also want to show you the instructions. You can press uh, WASD. Or arrow keys to move, hold space to move slower, press P to pause the game. Okay, so I'm going to click the new button so that we can basically have a look at the game itself. So this is called Ninja Escape, this is the game, this is the actual gameplay. And in this game you are this ninja which walks around. Uh, there, are, uh, there are also walls that the, uh, the ninja cannot surpass through, so you have to get through the walls. Uh, and there are also different types of enemies. For example, uh, the spikes, uh, which are the ones that you see on the screen. If I touch one of them, I get teleported to the beginning of the level. So I'm going to touch one spike right now, and as you can see, when I touch the spike, it teleported me to the beginning, and it also shows a blood. This blood is for the player to understand where he last died, where was his last death, so that he can take precaution next time before dying again. So the ninja player actually has to get through these doors so you have just to touch the doors and you are welcome to the next level so this is level 2 and as you can see from the menu below there is the menu button mute uh, which uh, makes uh, which mutes the game and you cannot hear anything anymore into the game neither the song and neither the effects so I clicked again and now I can hear all the sounds effect on the game. Uh, now there is also this the last button which is called level and it shows you wi on which level you're on right now. The level I'm on is in level 2 so I'm just going to pass this level. On every level you will see new types of enemies uh, on different levels actually. Uh, not on every level. So, this time, for example, we see shurikens. The shurikens uh, are moving enemies or moving uh, obstacles that you have to surpass through. You don't have to touch them. But I'm going to touch them so you can see the effect of touching the shurikens. Okay, so as you can see, I touched them and I was teleported to the beginning. And the blood was spit <laughs> so here are other shurikens and I'm just going to pass this level 4 level 5 does not have any shurikens but these are the easy levels because this is just the beginning of the game okay now it gets a little bit interesting because you have to get through the shurikens and unfortunately it's not that easy and this is where the hard part of the game comes in. So you have to wait a little bit until you actually surpass the shuriken. So I'm going to try and pass the shurikens right now which might be a little bit frustrating. Okay, okay. I passed both of them. So I'm going to uh, just talk as I surpass the levels and talk a little bit about the game, talk a little bit about the project and how much work effort uh, we as a team have put into the game. 
So first of all the programming that I've made, I've started creating Ninja Ball since November 2014. So th uh, that was actually my first to the game from scratch. Oh and by the way here is the slow movement while I press space so the ninja moves slower and I can actually surpass enemies easier like that. Okay so uh, the uh, game was being developed has been in development since uh, November 1st December actually I remember I started in 1st December 2014 and because I've had school and a lot of stuff has happened I've also worked on uh, website projects so it wasn't just the game and now that I got back um, I wanted to create a new game uh, even though the gameplay was going to be the same since I already had the source code of Ninja Ball, I wanted to create a Ninja Escape, <laughs> a Ninja Ball 2, and me and Patrick actually had this idea of uh, making the game a little bit more interesting by saying that this is going to be a Ninja Escape and not Ninja Ball anymore, because Ninja Ball had the player uh, as um, playing as uh, just a ball. Meanwhile, now we have the GIF animations for the player and the enemies, the shurikens. And in the before game, we actually did not have GIFs as extensions. So the game itself did not have any animation at all. So this is the first game that I've made from scratch with animations. But anyway, uh, the game is a little bit difficult to tell the truth. Like it is not for people who uh, don't like a little bit difficult games. So it is not that easy to surpass levels. But there are a lot of people who really like this game. So those were uh, the main target for this game and I actually wasn't really interested into targeting all kinds of people with the, with my first game from scratch so that would have not been very interesting to tell the truth. Now uh, I want to say that the game is uh, maybe completely finished because I cannot tell you I might uh, create a newer version of it or maybe add the max support but I just do not believe that I have the time to work on it so I've, I'm already thinking about a newer project and this new project will have a much better uh, game engine and by the way I created the game without using any framework so I started everything from scratch and it took me a little bit of time of uh, making the game look at least good and be, uh, playable. So after doing it for the online web I thought why shouldn't I actually create a Windows executable file so that people can play the game from their computer if they do not have internet for example or maybe they want to play it later so I created this uh, executable file and now you can basically just install it and after installing the game you can uh, try for yourself that uh, it runs quite smooth at least on my computer but I believe this is going to be the same frame weight for all kinds of computers and it looks <laughs> I've been dying a lot of times so okay I just passed the level so the game goes on and on and uh, it has 50 levels uh, by the end of the game the levels become a little bit more difficult there are easy levels too but there are also uh, difficult levels and unfortunately I could not create levels from the easiest to the hardest because it takes some time to 
to do that. So I just scrambled the whole levels as they came to my mind and I just created them really quick. So that was the main idea in the beginning. Anyway, this was uh, Ninja Escape. It is not yet published, not yet released. Uh, so I would really like to hear your thoughts, your feedbacks on the game. I would like to uh, know more about your ideas. What do you think about the game? Did you play? Uh, did you actually have some kind of interest uh, into this type of game? Have you ever played Ninja Ball? Uh, and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, since this is going to be a YouTube video, I want that you actually click the subscribe button or the like button if you liked it, or the dislike button if you really dislike the game. And uh, it doesn't bother me at all if you dislike the game or talk bad about the game. Actually, that really helps me. And I've told a lot of people, if you really hate a game, you better express yourself and this uh, this might help the developer if you are being constructive with your hate or if you are trying to express uh, yourself in a meaningful way at least like saying hey why this game has such low frame rates or why does this game not work on my computer at least you should give some type of advice. You actually click the dislike button but give an explanation to that. Like the more constructive you are, uh, the better it is for the developer and the better it is for you too. So thank you very much for uh, having a look at this game. I really hope that you will enjoy it. The online version will be certainly free. As for the uh, Windows version, I don't uh, I still don't know if I will re release it for free or for one dollar or two dollars so I really have to think about it but anyway if you liked it don't forget to subscribe like and share thank you very much for listening to what I had to say and talk to you on the other game that I will create so thank you bye